Well, people come from all over the world to learn about paleontology with the Courtney Museum. A lot of our visitors are from Vancouver Island, but there's people from the United States, the uh, United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand. Um, I think this last week I, I had many visitors, uh, international visitors, and they were just ecstatic to be able to be out in, uh, in the wilderness, but still close to town, and experience what British Columbia has to offer. Along the banks of the river, an ancient seafloor is exposed. The ancient seafloor from about 80 million years ago during the late Cretaceous. Well, usually we're finding the remains of the marine fossils, mostly shelled animals, things like clams and snails and crabs and ammonites. Ammonites related to the octopus and the squid, where the chambered nautilus is still alive today. But sometimes, once in a while, we find the large marine reptiles, the sea monsters, elasmosaurus, mosasaurus, turtles. Uh, their bodies are buried here along the Trent River in these banks. We offer fossil tours uh, seasonally, uh, actually throughout the year, uh, school groups, uh, families. We bring them down to the river and we teach them about the fossil record. We have hammers, chisels and goggles and uh, people actually get a chance to experience the actual digging up of a fossil. The thing about fossils is when you're chipping open a rock and you look inside and find a fossil, you're the first person in the whole world to see what's in there. That animal, or that plant in our case, hasn't seen the light of day for 80 million years. It could be something new, it could be something never seen before by science. If that's the case, you might be able to help the scientist name it, or the scientist might even name it after you. Because I tell people they can keep the fossils that they find on our tour, except if they find something special. Because once in a while, you'll come up with a fossil that nobody's ever seen. If I don't know its name, I know it hasn't been studied very well. If it's new, then everybody gets excited because we're finding new species all the time here on Vancouver Island. The fossil record is poorly understood, so our chances of finding something new are very high. This is a great tour for families. And you're out here together in the fresh air, learning. We run the tour seven days a week during the summer at nine and at one o'clock. Our tour groups are fairly small in size. Um, this way I could watch people and uh, give them a personalized experience. Most of the time I can gear the tour to the people that show up, depending on their abilities. I always look at the group, I see their footwear, I see if they're walking straight, um, if there's little kids, or if they're athletic. We have various locations. We have an easy walk, we have a harder walk, we have the extremer walk. You know, depending on, on the ability of the people in the group. And I, and I try to gear the location to the abilities. People are asked to drive their own vehicle to the site. We provide a very comprehensive map for people to get to the spot. Because we do have various spots that we look for fossils in. Yes, we do private tours. Uh, if, you, if it's just your family that wants to go with nobody else and, and uh, maybe see something a little bit different, we do private tours. The tours are very popular, so we suggest that you pre-book through our website, courtneymuseum.ca, or you could phone the museum, 250-334-0686.